Hello friends, welcome back to All in On Law. Guys, this is a medical video lecture, Microbiology. Microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is Protease. Mirabilis. or Proteus vulgaris ok guys so before starting a discussion on this I would like to brief you about our channel our channel currently has more than 600 600 medical video lectures and we are uploading each day we are uploading new new medical topics that are helpful for your USMLE step 1 examination step 2 CK step 3 Canadian Australian UK or any other medical board examination around the globe so try to concentrate on our video and try to clear the concepts and I'm sure you're gonna rock in your examination so guys let me quickly start a discussion on this that is a Proteus mirabilis or Proteus vulgaris okay so before starting a discussion on this I would like to brief you about the Proteus family the Proteus genus it's a gram-positive or a gram-negative they are gram-negative are they rods are the what do you call bacilli? They are rods. Okay, so they are urease positive. Remember, urease positive. Okay, urease positive, and they are non-lactose fermenting. Non-lactose fermenters. Okay, remember, and they have highly motile swarming motility with a flagella known as sorry, peritricus. Peritricus flagella. Okay, whenever the bacteria have the flagella, then they are motile. Remember, this is really very important, and they belong to the family Enterobacteriaceae. Okay, so let's talk about this uh, Proteus mirabilis. They are gram negative rods, okay, highly motile, as we said, and they are faculty to anaerobes. As we say, they are Enterobacteriaceae, so they are faculty to anaerobes faculty to anaerobes okay and they are oxidase negative oxidase negative these are really very important points for your uh, USMLE step 1 examination guys so let's move on to the reservoir who is the reservoir for this it's nothing but human colon okay and environment like water and soil colon water and soil okay guys how about the transmission? Transmission is by endogenous. Endogenous. Okay. So let's move on to the pathogenesis. The pathogenesis, you know, the it has a motility to it can enter into the bladder and cause can cause a urinary infection. Okay. So because of the motility, you can remember very simple. Okay. And the other important thing is they are urease positive, right? So urease raises the urine pH to cause kidney stones. Kidney stones. And type of stone that it can cause is a staghorn renal calculi. Staghorn. Okay. So remember. And if it releases the endotoxin, then it can cause a shock, fever, and septicemia can occur ultimately. Okay, guys so now let's talk about the diseases it can cause it can cause as we discussed it can cause renal calculi it can cause urinary tract infection it can cause septicemia right so um, how would you diagnose this culture of a blood or a urine for a lactose negative organisms with uh, what you call a motility that is forming motility okay so very important points and how would you treat that treatment 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 how would you treat how would you treat the treatment for this is uh, fluoroquinolones okay fluoroquinolones are very important you should remember and uh, TMP trimethoprim plus sulfamethoxazole SMX okay or third generation cephalosporins okay if there is a stone then you have to undergo surgery or laser therapy whatever whichever is uh, new okay 
So how would you prevent that? This, if you want to prevent a uh, protease infection in a patient in a hospitalized patient, then promptly remove the urinary catheters. Okay, keep on changing the catheters. Keep on inserting the new uh, sterilized catheters okay guys so um, i think you got the information about the protease mirabilis that is helpful for your usml step on examination thank you so much for watching this video take care